The Precipity Redhawks finished last year 5-17, and 17, fifth in the Liberty Division. Low numbers plagued the squad this year, as they're not going to be able to field the full lineup. For head coach Joe Dasty, that changes his focus from the dual meet season to individual success for his wrestlers. Uh, our hope is just that these kids learn and, and develop as the season goes along. We, we don't really have uh, any expectations as far as our dual meet season. Um, we have a lot of inexperienced kids. We only have a handful of kids that have wrestled at the youth level that are in the program now. Basically everybody else is a first or second year wrestler that started at the high school level. Um, and for those more advanced, experienced kids that we have, we're hoping that they advance in the postseason. They have high goals for themselves and hopefully they can attain them this year. One wrestler with high hopes for the season is Dominic Diantinis. The senior who finished last year 35-5 and five, is working with the young wrestlers to keep them interested and have the program succeed despite the low numbers. So right now we're trying to make sure that uh, all the newcomers, especially everyone coming in uh, first year, are they're happy to be here and having a lot of fun. Um, but more than that, just make sure that we're getting down uh, to the strict scheduling, make sure they're all getting their moves in, getting everything in, to make sure that we all get everybody prepared for the upcoming season. This is going to be a long season for the Pacipani Red Hawks. The dual meet season is going to be a struggle to their inexperience and low numbers. They do have a couple wrestlers, however, that can advance in the MCT and state tournament but it's going to be a struggle otherwise. I look for them to finish well below 500 and fifth in the Liberty Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.